Um, so the children have gone through a whole process um, through this project. So we've been with them over multiple days. Um, they started off with a session on river health, so really trying to understand what makes a healthy river, the habitat. Um, that is there, the flora and fauna that live around and rely on the river being healthy to survive. Then we were environmentalists for the morning, so we went down to the river sites, actively litter picking, seeing the issue firsthand and actively doing something about it, so, so removing the litter from site. While we're doing that, we were, we were recording the data of what we found and then back at school we became scientists, so we started analysing that data, looking at the materials of the litter that we found and then investigating how long that material would take to degrade, the impacts and possible impacts for wildlife of those different objects and um, where the litter came from, how it came to be there, who who might have been responsible for it. And starting to just try and generate um, thoughts and feelings as a response to the litter that they'd found at the at the river and also having found the litter then understanding the real impact of that litter being there and indeed the impact of them removing that um, litter from the site. When I see litter I feel very like disgusted and it's like why do people do it? It's not very nice and I feel a bit ashamed of people in this world. They've all had a whole creative arts day so where we've made a massive mess we've basically brought lots of litter into the classroom and they've just gone wild with creating things. They've woven um, on giant looms the plastic river, uh, they've done some willow weaving to create the human form which is suggestive of the, um, the, the fact that it's a human problem. They've each made a tiny little litter monster out of bits of litter and then all inputted in in finding different ways to, to manipulate the litter to create textures to go on to the giant litter monster. So they've really investigated different techniques and through that they've used tools, they've learned about different ways of joining things together and they've had a real sense of you know their own creativity because we never we didn't know what the monster was going to look like at the end till the very end because new things, new ideas kept going and it's been a real creative process where the children have really, they've owned this project and they've led this project in creatively so they, it's been their ideas that have created what, what the exhibition is presented, how it's presented. And then on our final day, we focused on filmmaking. So, so it's a case of animating the little litter monsters. So a clever technique where the mouth of the children is filmed and then that is digitally removed and put onto the litter monster. So, so it's kind of animating their monsters that they've made, but giving the children a real opportunity to share their story, share what they've learned, share how they felt about what they've learned, how they feel about the issues of litter and messages and things that they can share and try, try to work as educators themselves. So through the exhibition and through their film, they can actually spread the messages to try and change people's behaviour. Please, can you not litter? Because it, it can affect animals and animals give a lot of joy to our world and it can affect us if you think about it.